hello double o crew we are finally back fishing the uh big gunpowder river today hoping for some holdover stockies most likely not but possible and uh other than that searching for a couple wild trout that are down here or in the sparks area for those of you who can recognize the bridge and then we'll be hitting uh right up below pretty boy dam later if we don't do any fish what if we don't find any fish here which I'm not too confident on, uh, then we will definitely get into some fish later up below the dam. So all artificials today. I'm just glad to be out fishing. I'm using my favorite wild trout bait, and that's the Rough Rider X700. Little casting spoon. As you guys have seen, I do amazing on these things for wild browns with these things. I can't speak right. Anyways, Alex going with the live worms. Of course, I'll have to use artificials later. But down here, he's allowed to use those, so that's what he's going with. Anyway, it's just good to be back out. I'm, my goal is just to catch one fish today and uh, just enjoy the day finally out fishing. But yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We got some great herping stuff coming up, which I'm super excited for. So stay tuned. The content is now starting to pick up again. For those of you who are interested, we have one more CD coming out pretty quick. And then that'll be it for the music for a while. At least for full CDs anyway. A couple single songs. But but yeah, anyway. The fishing and herping content is really going to be picking up heavy. Hunting content is going to start slowing down. Music is going to slow down. But stay pretty, pretty solid on and off. And that's that. Now let's try to catch a fish. What you getting a bite? You getting a little nibbler nibbler because I ain't even got a follow yet. I mean, the water is like 30 degrees, but you know, it's, it's all good. You're biting like it's 30 degrees. We're gonna have to go to the warm water right below the discharge at the dam to catch any fish today. I can, I can call it right now. All right, guys, trying one last spot here before we move. We're gonna fish two more spots, one will be an area off of Falls Road that has a good number of wilds, but no stocked fish. And then we'll try it below the dam. What could replace you? Not a thing. Your therapy for me right here with this music. I walk to the bank, ready to bass fish. Treat the Lord like a broken arm and cast it. You say you're catching more than me. No, you're a liar. I'm throwing more hooks than Deontay Wilder. I rap about fishing like it's boxing crunch time. Hitting them pads so you know that I punch lines. And now my pop pop show me the ropes Now I catch them anywhere with sinkers or a float On a rock in the stream from the shore or a boat It don't matter if I'm there, the fish has no hope Rise early in the morning coming up with the sun I don't put the rod down till the moon has come From artificial lures to any live bait I'm a master at this, call me the fishing sensei Low tide was okay, but high tide they ate I feel the cooler up, what a lovely day No thoughts, no worries on my mind today Cast out every problem, what a perfect escape Normally this isn't fishable, but the water's so high right now, they could be holding right here. But under that foam, under that foam is going to be where they're at. Alright guys, well, my boot has a hole in it, so I'm going to just have to freeze. But I'm catching a dang fish today, I'll tell you that much. I feel like if I walk the right way, I won't get water in it. I'm saying for you! They don't want to get their feet wet. Well, guess what? I'm getting my feet wet. Because I'm catching a dang fish today. I tell you that much. <sighs> well, I've been fishing for a good while now. And not even a single take. I have no clue what's going on here, guys. But the only thing different is the amount of water. There's a ton of water coming down here, as you can see. And uh, that has to be what has got the fish thrown off i mean i'm not sure trying one last thing here a little artificial grub just free float it down there hopefully without getting stuck on the bottom let's see what happens i'm determined to catch one dang fish out of here at least Oh, there's a hit, there's a hit. Ah. Uh. 
I had a hit for sure. There he is, there he is. He's on, he's on, baby. He's on, fish on. Yes. All this freaking time. Alec already left and went back to the dang car. Fish on, baby. Oh my God, it's a small one, but I'm happy as heck. Just came off on the net. No, come back. Ah. Well, you saw it anyway. It was a tiny little brown trout. <laughs> yes. On a little artificial grub. All right, let me try again. I want to land one. That's it, right under this foam. See what happens. With trout, they say foam is home, so. Let's see if that holds true. So what I did with that last one, he came up and nailed it, so. I think I got them figured out. They're all sitting on the bottom, holding below this current. But because of that, you need to fish right on the bottom to catch them. And you can't use too much weight because then you get stuck on the bottom. So it's almost impossible in this spot to present a bait to really get a fish. There's a nicer one. There's a nicer one. Come on, baby. In the net. In the net. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> Hooked him right in the lip. Just how you want to do it. All right. And let's take a look at this fish, guys. I'll show you why. They should open like a one fish per person limit in here. Look how stunted this little fish is. This trout is incredible. Look how big his head is compared to his body. These fish, there's so many of them in here. And there's not enough food. It's crazy. I I really believe thoroughly they should open up a at least a one one fish per person limit in here. At least in this section right below the dam. Maybe not downstream, but right below the dam they definitely should, I think. All right, I'm going to tie up one more time. Try to catch one more and then head on out of here cuz Alex waiting for me at the car probably by now. Honestly, now that I have them figured out, I could probably stand down here and catch them all day. I just had to find the fish, really locate them and figure out the pattern. But again, I'm kind of running out of time here, so I'll be happy with one more and then I'm heading on out. It's pretty, pretty much instant every time. As soon as the drift gets down to the bottom, which takes a little while, takes about a minute and a half to get it in the zone where they're holding. But as soon as it gets there, they hammer it in the same spot every time. All right, there's another fish, another fish, baby. Oh, he came off! No! All right, there we go, guys. Third fish of the day. Oh my God, no, he got off again. You gotta be kidding me. How do they keep getting off? All right, he's definitely on this time. Definitely on this time. Third fish, baby. He's not getting up. This one's a little better. Swing him in. Up, oh, same size. Swing him in. Beautiful. Whew. Persistence pays off, baby. <laughs> Everybody else left. I knew if I stuck it out long enough and really figured them out, I'd get into the fish. Heck yes. I'm going to end the day with this one. Another gorgeous trout. Whew. <laughs> Heck yes, baby. Until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. Peace. <laughs> Let him go.